what's happening. This is Joshua Boetsy and you're watching Sporting Icons. This is Callum Johnson and you're watching Sporting Icons. Right, so Anthony Yard, he defends his WBO International light heavyweight title against Walter Gabriel Saquira. And this was a headline fight um, at Brentwood, of course, um, with half the arena leaving in the main event. Why? Because people just didn't want to watch Anthony Yard take on this kind of opponent anymore. People are getting to the point now where they're getting a little tired of it, and I'm kind of one of them, because I believe that he's so much better than the opponents that he's going in with, if that makes sense. Now, this went four rounds, and Anthony Yard, he stops Sequeira in round number four, after dropping him three times in round number four. So the Argentinian, he takes a, a good couple of body shots, he goes down, and then ultimately, Anthony Yard finishes up top, he goes down again, he gets up, to be fair, all three times, but on the third time, he gets up and he just looks like, you know what, I've had enough, and the referee just puts a stop to it. So Anthony Yard is above this kind of level, and right after the fight, what does Frank Warren do? He, you know what, I, I didn't want to do a video on this one, to be honest with you. But anyway, Frank Warren, right after this one, says that Anthony Yard has bypassed British level. Let me say that again. Frank Warren has said that Anthony Yard has bypassed British level. So in other words, he's skipping the whole thing and looking at bigger and better things. So for me, that is alarm bells right there because there's loads of British level guys that he should be fighting. Guys who are better than what he has been fighting. But by beating a guy who's already had four losses is better than British level. Better than Jose Burton. Better than Callum Johnson. Better than Joshua Boazzi. And so on. Really? Really? Listen, man, I like Yardi, but I'm getting sick to death of this kind of level of opponent, of him fighting people I've never heard of with, to be honest, piss poor records. That's exactly what it is. And he's just fighting potato sacks with eyeballs. That's exactly what he's doing. I, I mean, are they really afraid of the British level? Why not? He could be the best. He could be. Why can't we see it? Because these guys are not on the BT platform. Is that why? Um, Boati, Jose Burton, Callum Johnson, etc. They're all on the matchroom roster. I'm pretty sure that if Frank Warren can come up with enough money, as he's got all this money, now he's on BT Sport Boxing, that he can afford to pay these guys wages to fight on BT Sport. And I'm pretty sure Eddie Hearn wouldn't stop it. So what's the problem? Why doesn't Frank Warren want Anthony Yard in with the British level guys? For me, I don't want him to go up to be world, world title contention. I don't want him to do that. He shouldn't be ranked that high in the WBO. We know that Frank Warren and the WBO have a great relationship, much like um, Bob Arum does. But what I don't want is him going in there against a world champion and getting blasted because he's bypassed a whole level, a whole level. Don't tell me that this Sequira is better than any British guy. Don't tell me that, that he is, because he ain't. And I know Yardi before this fight said that this Sequera is higher ranked and better than British level. On what planet? Are you telling me that Boati could not beat this guy? Are you telling me that Jose Burton could not beat this guy? Or Frank Buglioni? Really? These guys just don't want to fight, man. Don't want to fight. And I know people say that um, Anthony Yard, he, well, you know what? He didn't have too much of an amateur um, career. So therefore, he's learning on the job. You have to give him time. How much time? This is 17 fights now. And it's his fault that he left the amateurs. He didn't have to. He left all that learning process behind him to turn pro. If he wasn't ready, then don't turn pro. For me, once you turn pro, then we expect certain things. And as I said, we're not asking him to go after Better Biev or Bivol or Kovalev, etc. We're not asking him to do that. We're asking him to fight the British level guys. Fight for the Commonwealth. Fight for the British light heavyweight title. Why not? What's the problem? Either you're good enough or you're not. And it's, seriously, he's the light heavyweight British version of Deontay Wilder. So far. And I don't want to say that because I believe in Yardi. I believe he could be the real deal, but I don't know it. 
I don't know who these people are that he's fighting. And I'm sick of him fighting people that I don't know who they are. I'm sick to death of it. Honestly. I'm getting to the point now where I just don't care who he's fighting. I don't care. Because we know they're not going to be any good. His coach is protecting him. Frank Warren is protecting him. And he don't seem interested in stepping up. Fight Joshua Boazzi. Listen, he's only had a handful of fights himself. You've got the advantage on him as far as pro goes. Fight Hosea Burton. He's only got half a dozen fights more than you. Fight Frank Buglioni. He's been around the block or two. What's the problem? What is the problem? You see, if Frank wants Anthony Yard to be looked on as a serious threat and a one of his spearheads of BT Sport or Box Nation, well, it's not really Box Nation anymore, but BT Sport Boxing, then he needs to give us fights that we are emotionally interested in. I want to be emotionally invested. I want to be interested. I want to go, oh, great. Yard is going to be fighting this guy. This guy looks pretty good. Not a who? Who's he fighting? What? Not another one of them guys. I'm, I'm getting to the point now where I'm sick of it. He's had 17 fights. He should be fighting Hosea Burton at a minimum. He should be. Frank Buglioni at a minimum. What's the problem? What is the absolute problem? Anyway, congratulations for the win. Of course, he wins or retains his version of the WBO international title and whatever else. But I'm getting tired of it now. Stop fighting people we've never heard of. Frank, stop protecting him. No more excuses now. No more excuses. I want to see Yardy in there with Jose Burton, Frank Buglioni, Callum Johnson, Joshua Boazzi, and the list goes on. Jake Bull and Craig Spider Richards winner. Why not? What's the problem? What is the absolute problem? Anyway. As I said, congratulations on the win. Of course he was going to win. We knew he was going to win. And I'm glad that he won. But of course he's going to win. And this is my point. Of course he's going to win. Of course he's going to beat this guy. I'm sick of these fake padded records. I'm sick of it now. So if he's gone past British level, then there's no more excuse of, well, he's learning. Right? That's Frank's words. That's Anthony Yard's words. If he's gone past British level, then... Fighting Jose Burton shouldn't be a problem, right? Fighting Buglioni or Boazzi shouldn't be a problem, right? But it seems to me that there's a problem. Wrap him up in cotton wool. Feed him to <sighs> these kind of people, really. Sequira. Come on now. Come on. I'm getting a little bored of it now. And I'm getting to the point where I just don't want to talk about Anthony Yard anymore. I don't want to do it. And I know that there's other channels out there are just losing interest. And Frank, you're doing this. I want to talk about him. I want to be excited about him. But you've got these so-called prospects who you're not putting him in there with against the correct kind of fighters that we want to see. Again, we're not asking for world titles. We're not asking for that or top 10 or top 15 even. We're asking for domestic dust-ups. That's what we're asking for for Yardi. Much like we are with Nathan Gorman and Daniel Dubois. What is the problem of these two fighting right now? What's the problem? Really? They're both the same age. Again, this, that will be a surprise to some people because Nathan Gorman is calling out Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois is, well, we'll see how it is when the time is right and a couple of fights time. Why? How much bigger is this fight going to be exactly? I want to be rude, but, you know, Daniel Dubois has got all the ability in the world and yes, he's one hell of a prospect, but so is Nathan Gorman. They're both the same age, okay? Same age. It's not like uh, Nathan Gorman's going to go in there and old man him. Not at all. They are the same age. And whether they fight now or three or four fights down the road, what difference does it make? It, it ain't going to get any bigger. Daniel Dubois is a mute. He can't speak. He can't hype up a fight. And exactly the same way with Yardi. Him and his manager, his trainer, Ajunda, just... just my God, I'm tired of it, to be honest. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. He's now got 17 fights. On his 18th fight, I want to see him fighting Jose Burton or a Callum Johnson or a Boatsy. You know what? Forget it. Just fight somebody that we know. Please, 
pretty pleased with sugar on top. If you're above British level now, then prove it. Go get that British title. If not, you're just a cherry picker, mate. You're just a cherry picker, and I, I don't want to say that about you, but you are. And Frank Warren is afraid to put him in there with um, one of these guys in case he gets beaten. But it's better that he gets beaten now, so he can learn from it, rather than go to world level and get absolutely demolished. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.